Hi and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I'm showcasing the latest release by Altenew. I will be showing you quickly what has been released and then I will share 4 cards just to put some of these products into action. Also this is part of a blog hop, make sure to visit my blog, there are lots of giveaways along the way. So first of all there are new pigment inks that have been released. This is the Antique Gold and it is uh, metallic. The second one is called Enchanted Gold, again uh, with lots of shimmer and shine for your projects. And the last one is called Obsidian Pigmenting and it is exceptionally crisp, which means that it's going to stamp all the details on your project beautifully. You will get a perfect impression, but it is going to take a few more seconds to dry. Also this is permanent ink, so it's perfect for watercoloring. This tiny little stamp set has three sentiments to combine and it is called the best thing. They have also released a new alphabet stamp set, this is called Ombre Alpha. I love this font and I think it would be great for my art journaling. Now this is the Dare to Dream stamp set and it's one of my favorites from this release because you can create beautiful backgrounds. They remind me of those Portuguese tiles. You can use them as they are or combine them together, stamp one on top of the other to create beautiful combinations and uh, they would look great if you choose different colors. I will be using uh, this for two cards today. Now here is another favorite, one of those uh, stamps that I know I will be using again and again. It has lovely sentiments in a beautiful font and I actually have this hello one in a die from the previous release which I have been using a lot and again and again for the last month since I absolutely love this font. And by the way this stamp set is called Fancy Greetings. Now here is an absolutely beautiful stamp set, it is called Everlasting Happiness and it features this circle and a flower composition on one side, you get a bigger and a smaller circle along with lots and lots of sentiments for your cards. Just like always, Alta New has released a new flower stamp set. This is called Basic Blooms and it's one of their layering stamp sets where you get flowers and leaves to stamp one on top of the other. Now they have also released matching dies as well as a stencil. Another flower stamp set from this release is this one, really beautiful, it's called Delicate Clusters. There are also matching dies available, they come separately, I just like to store everything together. And I will be using this stamp set on today's video. Now if you don't have a wood crane stamp in your collection, here is a great one, this is called A Walk in the Woods. Provides a beautiful background for masculine and feminine cards. And here is another flower stamp set, this is called Ornate Foliage and you can use either the layering way to color in the flower or just use the outline stamp and color it in with your favorite medium. And here are two dies, this is one that I absolutely love, I will be using this today on my one of my examples. And here is a beautiful background, this doesn't actually cut out anything, it only embosses lovely stitching all around the background. I will be using that today and you will be able to see the result that you get. Lovely, lovely background. The new release is beautiful products, but it is uh, really difficult to keep up with them since they release every month. If you want to grab something from previous releases, there is a 20% off discount just for today. Make sure to visit my blog where I share all about it. Okay, so here I have a panel where I used the dotted swirls debossing cover die. And with all the lighting on my studio, it is really hard to show you the beautiful texture that I get. So here is a close-up photo of the card that I'm making now, where you can see the beautiful pattern at the background. So for my focal point I will be using one of the flowers from the Delicate Clusters. Here is the leaflet where you can see some inspiration. You can use the flowers with the stem or without, you can put them on a vase. So many different ideas and I really love the um, leaflet because it gives you different color combos as well as um, ideas on how to put your cards together. Now this is a very flexible die, which means that uh, I might stamp it in a way that will not match the die. So I'll do the die cutting first and I did use a little bit of footage here. I thought I pressed the record button, but I, after all I didn't. So all I'm doing here is just placing the negative on my Misty. Then you can put the stamp inside that empty space and align it perfectly, close the door of your Misty and then place inside the other cutout. Now I'm doing the stamping and for that I'm using um, bamboo, then I will move into olive. 
And finally, the darker shade that I'm using is Moss. All the greens that I'm using today come from the oval set, which is called Tropical Forest. Now I'll move on and do the stamping of the flowers. For the flowers there are four different layers and I used Pink Diamond, Pink Alicious, Rubellite and Raspberry. All these four colors come from the same oval set, which is called Cherry Blossom. And you will find everything linked down below, just like always. So I am putting my card together, I have placed the panel on top of a green cardstock and now I'm placing the flower cluster on top. I used some foam tape at the back to have some dimension. I will cut off the excess and I used some thread here to tie a double bow with uh, colors of thread that uh, match the colors of my flowers. I'm going to stick those uh, on top of my card just to add some uh, extra interest and texture. And I think it looks really cute. I'm using orange nouveau drops here and add the dot at the center of the flowers just uh, for some extra interest there. Finally, for a sentiment, I went with the word love in a colored cardstock that matched the center of my flowers. For the next two cards, I will be using the Dare to Dream stamp set. I love these styles and uh, they remind me of my trips to Spain and uh, Portugal. You can see all those beautiful backgrounds. Use the stamps as they are, alone, or combine them one on top of the other for more complicated designs. And if you look online for Portuguese styles or Spanish styles, you will find beautiful color combos that you can easily recreate with this stamp set. So for my card, I want to use all six of those styles and I don't want to bother to align them again since I know that they are perfectly aligned as they are on the stamp set. And that's why I'm going to use the whole stamp set as it is. I'm only removing the sentiments all around and I'm going to place that acetate directly on top of my misty door and secure it down with some purple tape. I'm going to ink up all the tiles and the ink I'm using is called Dusk. I'm going for a blue and gold uh, design here, but you can see how beautiful it looks if you leave it as it is, just as it is now. Now I'm going to stamp it one more time just to get a good impression. And then I want to go ahead and use one of the gold new ink pads by Alta New. So I'm going to clean up the stamp. I'm going to remove it from the door. And I'm going to place it on top of the stamped image, but I'm going to flip it this time. So I am going to actually combine two different stamps for one tile. And excuse my head as I'm trying to make sure that I align everything correctly. And that was my lazy way of aligning everything and flipping all the images at once. But of course you can do it separately if you like. I think this is a quick and easy way. Now I'm uh, going to ink up the whole thing and this time I'm going to use Enchanted Gold Pigment Ink. This is not only going to give a more complicated look to those tiles, but at the same time it's going to add shimmer and shine on my project. And I'm going to stamp one more time just to get a better impression and you will be able to see the beautiful shine that I end up having. It's really hard to catch on camera, but in real life it really looks stunning. And now since I had my stamps already dirty with that ink, I decided to go ahead and do one more card, so this time I'm stamping on a piece of uh, black cardstock. And you can see that this ink stamps beautifully both on white and black cardstock. It's really opaque and you can see the beautiful shine. And I'm going to turn those two backgrounds into cards. For the first card, I just matched the base of my card with the blue color on the tiles. I added a thin strip of uh, washi tape in antique gold again to bring everything together. I embossed my sentiment from the same stamp set that says Dare to Dream. And at the center of those tiles, I'm adding some uh, crystal gems at the same color as the blue cardstock. Now my panel is ready and all I have to do is to just stick it on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And you can see some close-up photos here. For the second background, I kept everything really simple. I think it is stunning as it is. I just stamped on a very thin strip of black cardstock the word congratulations. 
my panel is ready and I always end up sticking those panels on four and a quarter by five and a half pre-folded cards. For the last card for today I'm going for something really romantic but very easy to recreate. This is called fine bouquet dye. I'm placing it on top of this cardstock making sure that it goes from one end all the way to the other. I'm going to add some washi tape on top just to make sure that it's not going to move and then I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. So I kept the bottom part after the die cutting, I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe glue at the back and I'm going to secure it down on top of a 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half white panel and then I'm going to add some glue at the back of this very delicate die cut and to make things simpler you can use uh, adhesive spray or use some double sided tape before you do the die cutting. I forgot to do that in the beginning so I just had to go with my Nouveau Deluxe at the back. Now I'm going to stick the flower on top of my panel and it fits perfectly in that area. For the sentiment I decided to use one from uh, the Fancy Greetings stamp set. They are all beautiful, I just went with um, sending hugs just because I find it very versatile. And uh, I'm going to stamp that with soft lilac. I found that by stamping a couple of times I got the exact same shade as the cardstock that I used and I don't know where I got this cardstock, I just grab it from my stash. So now finally for some finishing details on this very delicate card, I'm just going to add a few of those gems that match perfectly the color of my cardstock. I'm keeping everything monochromatic, I think it is a great recipe when you want to have a very elegant card. And there are so many different ways to use this die. You can create a shaker window, you can use the inlaid technique, so many different ways. Now let's take a quick look on all the four cards that I made for today using products from the latest release by Alta New. Don't forget this is part of a blog hub, there are lots of giveaways, so make sure to visit my blog and you will find there a 20% discount for everything Alta New from the previous releases. So these were the projects for today, I hope you had fun, that you got inspired, don't forget to leave me a comment and like this video, it really helps my channel. And also subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you all so much for visiting today and I'll see you all next time.